This is uh, part three of the tutorial, or C, um, and I'm picking it up where part B left off. In other words, right after we uh, uh, created the structure for our table, and I can see that I'm looking at the structure. It's the one and only table that's in our database, PHP Spring 19 uh, RB, and it's got one table. Uh, now I want to see the actual items in the table and since the table is empty when I go to browse it shows that the table is totally empty returned empty and so on there are two ways to populate the table with entries with products either manual inserting them or running a script we're gonna do both I'm gonna start by running a script that I've prepared in advance at the end of the process, I'll also show you how that script was created. And to run the script, I'm going to go to the tab called SQL, which is the language that's used to actually build things and insert and populate. And that brings me to a window where there's a default, you know, select and so on. I'm deleting that. Then I'm going to Dreamweaver. My Dreamweaver is already open and, you know, my site is already open. And out of all the files that you're going to download, um, one of the source files, I put it in a folder called parts2, is a folder called insert code. I open it. And at first it looks like a bunch of, you know, uh, uh, undecipherable code, but actually it's kind of um, self-explanatory. If we look, let's say it's just uh, line one. Uh, it's almost English. It's a script that tells in the language called SQL to insert into the table TBL products. Here are the fields. That's where the names must match what's already on the table. The fields called, uh, or the columns called prod ID, prod name, prod price, prod description, prod image, prod category, and prod features. And then each line is values. For instance, I'm saying the first product will be ID one, its name will be wooden bed, its price will be 999.99, and that big text that starts with lorem ipsum is a default kind of uh, a placeholder for a description. And if we go to the end of that description, after that is the URL for the image being used. And after that, one and one. One in this case means it belongs to category one, which is beds. And the other one means that it's featured. We are using one or zero for um, non-featured or featured um, products. And then there's six of those. So I'm going to select all on the Mac it's command A, on PC it's control A. I'm going to copy everything from start to finish i'm going back to my browser to that sql window that's still open in php my admin and i'm going to paste and after i paste it i'm going to click go and that runs the script if i get the green color that means that everything was inserted that means that the script ran you know without problems and then I can go to browse and see that my table was populated with six new products I have products about you know two of them per category I see that I got a wooden bed and a king size bed they got prices they got descriptions they show at least the name of the picture that they're using uh, and they both belong to category one which I'm, I'm deciding arbitrarily that it's you know the beds department then there's two more products in the oh sorry three more products in the chairs department retro chair plastic chair and wooden chair and also one more product in the table um, category and they deliberately did just one product so I can show you how to insert um, manually a product which is the way I did it originally I'm just saving you the work so to insert a product manually if this is round table then we got um, I'm just gonna call it um, uh, just table so I go to the insert menu it lets me insert a few products at a time but right now all I'm gonna need is just one this is basically one product what I'm you know rolling over right now so everything I need to enter is on the right side here I don't need to change any of the left 
on the right side, it asks me what product ID do you want it to be? Now, I could type seven because I know I have six products, but I could just leave it empty because as you might remember from the previous tutorial, we set our product ID to auto increment, which means if the last one had product ID six, if I just leave it empty, this new product is going to get automatically the next number seven. So I'm just going to start from name and I'm going to call it, um, let's say just um, table, like a nice table. Uh, I'm going to make up a price, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, 399.88, uh, no need to type the dollar sign, um, and for a description, I'm going to type just a few meaningless words, blah, 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 blah. Um, for product image, I already know the names of my images and I know that it's table two. dot jpg um, again this has to match of course the name of the real image uh, product category the tables uh, department is category three so I'm giving it three and since I already have one featured product in that category I'm gonna give this one a zero which means it's a regular product it's not featured it's not you know the one that's gonna be on the home page and then I click go Again, green color indicates that the script is correct, at least, you know, as far as syntax and grammar and so on. Uh, it actually shows me how it translated that into the language of SQL. Insert into, then, you know, the names of the fields and then an array. Basically, it's an array of fields and then an array of values. Uh, and to see what it looks like, I go to Browse and now I should have seven. Here it is. I have six uh, products that I inserted from a script and one more that I inserted from, um, you know, manually. Originally, I inserted all of them manually, but I don't want to waste, you know, your time just inserting, inserting, inserting. So I just showed you one. Uh, I just want to show you how I came up with that script. I didn't have to write it manually. Once I entered everything manually, I can convert all of that to a script if I ever wish to run that on another database or on another table, and that's under export. If I just go to export and I just ask it, take my whole products table and convert it to a SQL and I click go, it simply downloads a file. I can open it now with Dreamweaver and that converts everything I just did to one big SQL script. And I can choose, this includes also creating the table, populating the table. That's a great way of uh, migrating information from one database to another, should you ever need to do that. So what I gave you was basically from here, the insert into, because we created the table manually. We just needed to insert uh, information into it using a script. In the next video, I will talk about um, creating a config.